Today I'm going to show you about the Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So what we're going to do, um, first of all, is locate our photos. And I'm going to just click on the photo icon right here in the menu bar. And as you see, I use Aperture or you can use iPhoto, whatever you have photos in, or Photo Booth. But I'm just going to pick Aperture. I'm going to uh, choose some random photos here. I have some photos. I can make them, um, double click and make them larger. And... Uh, basically, Ken Burns is known for moving, adding photos, uh, I'm sorry, added motion to photos. Famous documentary uh, filmmaker. So I'm going to just leave it at 1080p HD. I'm going to leave it 1920 by 1280. I'm going to leave the frame rate at 23.98. Uh, I'm going to hit OK. Now, the first thing I see when I see this, when I hit the space bar, of course, the picture doesn't move. And it's at 10 seconds automatically because it's in my preferences. If I go into preferences and if I go under import and photos and editing, you'll see right here the default image length is 10 seconds. You can take that up or down or anything like that. So the first thing I do is see the picture and it doesn't fill up the entire screen. So that's the first thing. So one or two ways to do this. You could just click here, this transform and drag the uh, edges out, but I don't like to do that because that's a long way to do it. What I like to do, I'd like to go into the information panel here, scroll down until I see spatial conform, and then I just click fill, and it fills the, uh, the photo. Then what I'm going to do is just go right here, and then go right here and go um, down. So I'm going to close the information panel, and then once I click on the picture, I see that, okay, I'm going to make it a little bit longer, five seconds. All right. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the crop button right here. Then the Ken Burns effect is there. So it's going to go from small, from big, large to small. So I can look at a preview right there. And remember, when I have it, okay, it's going to go to the end and stop. So... Remember, when I have it in here in the Ken Burns effect, I can also click here and reverse it. And you can preview it, make it to come out. All right. And if I do like this, more of a dramatic effect on a picture, it's going to go faster. Watch this. It's going to zoom in. Okay. So this is a really good feature in Final Cut Pro 10. It's very easy to zoom on photos. And I, I movie, I move them to the beat. Uh, but right here, I'm just moving photos and easing them in. Now, let me show you another way. Um, if Say if you have a picture that is a horizontal or a vertical. Because a lot of times you have pictures like this, but a lot of times you'll have pictures like this. So, again, I'm not going to go to over here and hit spatial. Because if I do that, watch what happens. If I go here, fill, it's just going to go like that. So, we're going to fit that. And then, with the Ken Burns effect, with this young lady here... We're not going to do it like that because if I do this, look, look what happens. It just zooms in on her. If I did want it to zoom in on her, that, that, if I wanted that effect, that's great. And it didn't even go all the way, actually. So we're going to just stop it. And uh, we're going to go back here, Ken Burns. And then we're going to just go to trim. And then we're going to go back to Ken Burns. Then what I like to do, um, I like to just make it larger, even though you'll see black on the picture. I'm just going to go ahead and just take the edges and go as far as I can. All right. And then we're going to click on the red and go as far. Let's go to red real quick and go as far as we can, at least down that way. Click back on green. Now let's watch it now. And now we see it around black because we had to widen the edges for that Ken Burns effect. All right, so that's a brief tutorial on a Ken Burns effect. If you have any other questions, email us at ask at webvideochefs.com or send us a tweet at webvideochefs or follow us on our Facebook page and friend us. We would love to hear from you, facebook.com slash webvideochefs. Take care.